Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Full Media, Part 35, Gearing Up. In today's episode, we set out to have a complete new piece composed in 3443R, which is one of our two scales in this series. We reflected that we've done complete pieces in 2552 and 1331. Um, we also talked about how our projects continue to interplay. The music projects and non-music projects keep interacting with each other, giving us ideas and ways to move forward. And in particular, we now need to move forward in creating talking points for presentations in all our projects. So our ideas were to uh, add extended chords to the 3443 and what we mean by extended chords are way down here. All these chords we had, we had a bunch of them. Um, but there was a certain set of chords that we had never uh, added before. There were the 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, and going the other way. So on this little chart here, wherever you see 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 5, 2, 1, 3, 1, 5, 1, 1, 4, 4, 1, uh, we had never, we calculated the consonants and we had never uh, officially enumerated them for our reference sheets. So we we took care of that. We took care of that today. In the 3443R, we went and we extend added the extended chords. And for example, there's a C12 chord. And we also updated the reference score. So there's the C12 chord in its place over there. Down here we had a C13 in the major, and there's the C13 in the major. Um, when we were done, we have now nine minor, nine major, and basically ten chords that can be found both in the minor and major scale. So they go all the way over here, and we have nine and nine, uh, 29, 18 plus 10, 28 chords to work with. So that's a lot of chords to work with. So then we said, well, that's an awful lot of chords to work with. What do we do with that? So we said, why don't we look at the functional note patterns? Because we had good luck with that on the piece we just completed. Like, what has mode? What has neutral? What has urge? And perhaps use that as a way to pick things out. So we did that. Uh, we also wanted to try some timbres. So we made a new score, we made a new score to explore all these cadences, and we said, well, let's just take out the cadences, let's pull out the cadences that have a root in them, root, 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 and in this case, of course, the root is C, so only chords that have a C, and so out of all 28 chords, like this one has no C, this one does have a C. Uh, this one has no C, this one does have a C, so we said, well, let's give us all the ones that have roots in them. And then we started going through it and we extract, extracted a cadence that we kind of like that sounds like this. And we figured out what those cadences are. There's a driftance because it ends on a subdominant a direct cadence because it goes dominant to tonic and that's part of the beauty of using the extended chords we got a there are no subdominants or dominants in the minor major but there are plenty of subdominants and dominants in the shared chords so we're basically using some shared chords here this is a, overall a minor these four lines are uh, three lines are minor plus shared so uh, ideas for next time would include do a major plus shared composition, roots composition, to, to complement the minor plus shared roots. So so that's that's where we got today, and then then we had fun. We said let's just take that those three lines, and put timbres on them, and try to kind of make it sound 
like something musical with more tuning to it. We liked the tuning and how that made things sound better, but the one thing we never added was timbre. The last time we added timbre was flutes and violin and the 2552, so wouldn't it be nice, wouldn't it be nice if the 3443 had timbre? Yeah, with timbre. Yes, let's do that. Because sometimes you can have slower moving pieces and then they sound cool if you add timbre. So let's listen to this whole piece and that'll take us home. So that concludes today's stream. As we said, ideas for next time are to look at a major plus shared roots composition, our good old favorite to be determined. But one of the things we noticed, uh, we were thinking about adding an arpeggio line in here and with triplets, and then all of a sudden we realized that we were duplicating uh, a melody accompaniment that we had done in the last stream which is a pretty melody but it's not one we want to duplicate here we wanted a new melody and we're trying to get at that by using new cadences and and learning how to work with these these uh, relatively awkward uh, one two one three one four one five and their mirror images two one three one four one five one so that's the game plan. Thank you for your time and attention, curiosity and interest. We look forward to seeing you in the next episode. And as always, keep on streaming.